So guys, today I'm going to be taking you through the bent over row. There's lots of variations of this exercise, but today we're going to be doing it in a supported position. So the muscles used in this exercise are mostly the lats, the rhomboids, the rear delts, the biceps are going to be involved, the glutes and the hamstrings are going to be supportive uh, muscles as well as the core and the lower back. So there's quite a lot going on here, so there's quite a lot to learn. So firstly, set yourself up in a rack where the bar is just below knee position. You want to be gripping the bar, but not allowing your wrists to bend either way you just want to have a nice neutral wrist position the next thing you want to be thinking about is you got your nice neutral wrist position is is the break almost like breaking the bar so that our lats are activated so we're breaking the bar this way obviously you're not going to be able to do that so it's going to activate certain muscles okay so we're set up in position next make sure our head is in a neutral position so here and then we're going to row to our belly button nice and steady let it reset And as I'm doing it, I'm thinking about my, my elbows coming together at the top of the movement. So the reason I'm teaching you this position from a racked position uh, or a supported position is because a lot of people don't have enough hamstring flexibility to be able to do the movement properly in the beginning. So what might happen is if you're coming from the floor, you're doing a different movement which is called a penlay row, your hamstrings might not be flexible enough to be able to get you down and you might have this rounded position in your back which is not very safe at all and not where we want to be doing it. If you do have enough flexibility and you can get into the position, great, you can do it from the floor. Another issue I see with this movement is people standing too upright and coming to the belly button. So as you can see from the side of you, I can't get my, my lats activated enough to be able to make the movement effective. Another thing I see is the elbows flaring too much, which is taking it away from the lats. And in this movement, we want to be using the lats to hold it in a good position. So another thing I see in this is the weight being too much and the back beginning to arch and that's that's not a good position to be pulling from another thing i see with this movement is people using too much body momentum and to try and pull the weight up and that's not using your, your lats as much as much as it would if you were in a strict position so what i'm actually teaching here is a hypertrophy movement of the lats mainly so we want to keep everything nice and strict and not put any too much emphasis into a power movement so i'm standing i'm strict I'm squeezing the lats together, I'm resetting, I'm coming together, okay? And that is how to do a low row. So guys, if you need any more help, feel free to shoot me a message. I've got a lot of plans available for free where you can download them, and I'm sure I'll help you out in the messenger as well.